Hey guys, it's Skinny Girl. So, um, as most of you guys know, I went to a show on Saturday, so the 25th, and I, uh, perf I did a lot of performance showing and just, like, tiny, tiny bit of halter showing. Um, but yeah, so I was just going to do a quick show report. So first of all, I just wanted to apologize for the really, really crappy re-setup things, like that. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had, like, 18 or so entries. I think it was like closer to 20 so I really didn't have time to completely tack up all my horses because afterwards um, I'm just gonna <laughs> untack them and put them back so most of my stuff isn't completely tacked up like that isn't completely done so yeah really sorry about that I just wanted to give you the basic the basic idea of what I was doing for most of these and then of course the placings Okay, so first of all, um, the show started with Harness, and the Harness class was really huge, and um, so I placed sixth in it. So, I mean, there was nothing really wrong with my entry, except my entry was probably the most simple, which is why it didn't place as well. Um, fortunately, I didn't place last, but um, yeah, I didn't place that well, so I only got sixth with Mandibar. Yeah, so what I did for mine was I had, like, a long reining thing. I called it driving training, and I had, like, documentation and everything. And so basically he was weaving around a cone. There's a cone right there. The cones are all packed up there. And then the doll was, like, leading the horse over behind with the reins. So for some reason, I was being really stupid. Um, I made this... I finished this harness at 11.30 on Friday night before the show. So for some reason, I gave him black reins, and they should have been rust-colored, so... That was a mistake on my behalf. So, yeah, that was my fault. I should have fixed that. Yeah, so my entry was the only one without a cart, which is kind of why it went to the bottom. Because, like I said before, there really wasn't anything wrong with mine. I just didn't have as much, um, as many props with it. Because, um, the winning harness was a... It was Tiffany Purdy. I mean, you guys probably know her. But yeah, she um, she had a cart with a doll and a scene set up thing, so that's why I didn't win, <laughs> or even close to it. But so then after that, I was in the scene class, so they didn't have, um, so first of all, let me give you an explanation. So in the scene class, they told me to put my other, other um, entries in there, so I had two other entries. And, um, so the problem was they didn't have an other, other class. They forgot to add that in, so they didn't do that. So I asked them, what should we do? And so we went over it for a little while, and this was before the show. And then eventually they just told me to put it in the scene class, and if I was lucky, and that if there were enough entries, then they would just put it in, they'd make a new division, they'd split the class. However, there were only, like, four entries in there, and two of them were mine. I'm sorry, there were five. Two of them were mine. So they did not split the class. So mine placed at the bottom because it, they weren't even seen entries, but there really was nowhere else for them to go. So that was a little unfortunate, but you know, oh well. So for Storm, he placed fourth, and then Taser placed fifth. So with Storm, he was doing an Irish drop class um, scene thingy. So there was pipe fencing behind him. Sorry, I don't have my pipe fencing out. Um, is all packed away still but it was the red brayer pipe fencing you can probably get an idea what it was and so it was kind of like curling around him and then he has his bridle and then i didn't have a doll for this class so i, ha I made a little wood handler thing a little thing of bobber let me show you what it is really fast it's in my prop box somewhere yeah so this is my handler and it actually worked really well and so it was off to the side, and the lead was, like, curled through it. I can't get it right now, but, yeah, so you can see. So that was, um, that one got fourth place. And now you can see my bridle here. I raised the brow band, and the nose band is just flat. Yeah, sorry, my camera is not focusing. Yeah, it's weird. But, yeah, so that actually did okay-ish. Yeah, like I said before, it wasn't really in the right class 
sorry about the like scuffling in the background yeah my camera is like dead right now so i have this huge extension cord going through my room right now connecting it to the charger so yeah that's that noise and then so with taser's entry he was doing horse agility so he had a tarp and then they're like cones on the corner of the tarp and he had a, um, a handler i have a rider doll I think it's the Breyer Farrier, but he obviously didn't have the apron and stuff, but yeah, he was leading the horse and Taser had a halter on, so yeah, that one placed last. <laughs> um, but it did still place, so that's good enough, right? And then after that was the show jumping and just the eventing over fences class. Sorry, I just tripped on the cord. And so, um, Jay placed fourth. Yeah, fourth in the show jumping cross country eventing, eventing class. So he did really well because, um, I don't know, before the show, I honestly had no time whatsoever, which is why I didn't have a car. I didn't have props at all. So, yeah, most of you guys know I had to close my tack orders because I had no time for my own stuff. So, um, all of the winning entries had like a base and like fences and stuff. And mine was just the jump and the horse and the tack. So, that's why mine placed really low. So, um, yeah, but I use this jump here for show jumping. It's pretty simple, you know, pretty basic. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, like I mentioned before, but, you know, it's really simple. And so he had a saddle and a saddle pad. Sorry, yeah, I didn't get my saddle pads out. They're still packed away. But so, yeah, he had a saddle, and that's supposed to be tacked down. Okay, so, yeah, he had a saddle here, and his bridle, it's raised on the brow band. Focus, camera, focus. Raised on the brow band, and then the nose band was flat. So that was fourth. And then in Hunter Over Fences, I used this jump, and I got third, which is also really good considering how little stuff I had all together. So third isn't bad. So it was pretty much the same thing, but I switched out the saddle pad because in show, jump, jump, show jumping, cross country venting, I um, had a lavender saddle pad, so I switched out with a white one with saddle pad numbers for this and that was the only change besides the jump so that one placed fourth no I'm sorry third I'm sorry third I'm fumbling with words and then Achilles he was also in the show jumping eventing cross country thing he was also in that um, he did a cross country entry let me move him over. So he did a starting box entry. So um, he had a saddle here and he had his really fancy bridle. I really loved his bridle. I made this before the show. This is one of the things that I actually put time into. So sorry, I don't have any tack on there. So it's like loose and floppy around and stuff. With his little leftover tack on his lip. But yeah, that's really loose. So usually it's up at his eye. But um, I really took time with his Robbie end. A lot of you guys have been asking for update attacks, so, um, yeah, this is one of the things that I was working on. You know, I actually have a video on my updated attack stuff. I can't remember if this bridle was in or not, but if not, well, there it is again. <laughs> but yeah, so I used the pipe fencing again, and I did, like, a little three-sided square thing, and he was in a starting box, so that placed fifth I think so not last but not great but yeah again total lack of props and then after the um after that was English Trail and I was really happy about English Trail because a bullet was in it sorry <laughs> Yeah, so Bullet was in it, and he had a um, numbered saddle pad, and he had his bridle here. And so his entry was a box. Well, actually, just pretend he's on that side of the box. And then there were also, like, um, three poles here in addition to the square. And um, so how it worked was he cantered through here, and then he came back around and cantered through these. So, um, obviously, he was just cantering right here, but he was, like, the same position. He had, like front and back split he was right there and then I also had flower pots there packed away right now so yeah I'd be really careful when I get them out because not all the flowers are attached in there so yeah I don't want to pull that out right now 
but he placed second in a really big class so I was like so happy oh my god I wanted to like squeal because I was so excited so um he did really awesome in that Ooh, there's a little smudge on my saddle sorry but um and then after that Oh yeah, because in the English trail class, there were some really awesome entries, so the fact that mine placed so high was like, oh my god, I was so excited. But, um, yeah, so anyways, after that was Hunt Seat Pleasure, so, um, in this Hunt Seat Pleasure, they didn't allow any props at all besides a rider, so you had the tack horse and optional rider. So I also placed second in that one too, which I was really excited. Um, because, uh, everyone else had, like, the same amount of props. Like, the only reason I think I placed lower was because the first place person had a rider doll. And the rider doll was really nice, so that's why I didn't place that high. So, yeah. So, technically, he is Nan qualified. Super happy about that. And then, after that... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So in the cross country eventing show jumping with a starting box entry, he only placed fifth. You know what? Maybe I didn't mention that. Oh well. Anyways, moving on. Um, after that, Achilles was an English other, and he did a polo penalty shootout um, entry. So he was pretty much the same thing, except um, I didn't have a rider for this, so I tacked a polo mallet to the saddle, and I like in my um explanation card I said the rider is reaching down to swing the mallet so um and then I had my little polo ball on the ground and then I had like a cone on either side of his front feet in front of his feet to mark the starting line and it was a really cute entry I really liked it and it placed second so I was really happy with that and then after that Jay competed again in dressage yes you're going to say what he's jumping he can't compete in dressage well I made it work so um I used my hunter fence because it's pretty simple and I had him doing pre caprilli I think that's how you um pronounce it I'm not completely sure so he was doing a pre caprilli jump I didn't use the filler for that one so just like pretend that's not there um but yeah so the fence was pretty low just because that's how it is in pre caprilli <laughs> And, um, I took his little boots off for that. Oh, yeah. I don't even know if I told you, but, yeah, he was wearing little, just tack-on bell boots for the show jumping. But I took them off for the hunter over fences and the dressage. And he placed fifth in that one. Yeah, sorry, I was reading my notes. Yeah, he plays fifth. And, um, so the other entries were really awesome. Um, they had, like, actual, like, bases and fences. The winning entry was so perfect. I can't even stress like it was like so perfect. It had a uh, custom Celtic, and he was like a beautiful dapple gray. Oh my god, I love the horse and the entry so much. Yeah, but it was a really awesome entry. Um, yeah, that was another thing that kind of sucked about my show was that there weren't really enough. Um, there's not really that many performance showers it seems at my area place. Ooh, look, you can see the trash can off topic anyways so yeah the the of horses and the customs and artist residents were together so that's why it was really hard for me to place because even if it was a tiebreaker most of the other people would place higher just because they had an awesome horse and i didn't so achilles is the only one that i showed like pretty well because he's a custom and he's really pretty so <laughs> yeah and then after that i don't have a sun suite out but um he plays sixth and western trail so um i did a similar thing with the motorcycle sorry that was really loud but he placed six with a western trail setup so it's pretty much the same thing as the other ones um with bullet where he just had the flower pots in the corners of the box and then he had the two other poles here and he was um walking through them so he was actually walking through these end poles here. So he had a western saddle and a western bridle and everything. Sunsweet is right there. That's Sunsweet. You can kind of see him that early, but yeah, so that's Sunsweet. He also, he was also in um, western games, but there were like a thousand entries in that one. So he had no chance at it. So yeah, um, for that one, I did a flag race entry and he was like, 
the um, horse of a junior rider or a youth rider. So he was walking around the barrel. He's been like really good and stuff. But yeah, um, in fact, I was incredibly surprised that Sunsweet placed it all on Western Trail because not only did I have like no props, my saddle really, really sucks. So um, this is in fact my first ever saddle, English or Western, it's my first. Um, so, I mean, it may look okay from the distance, in fact, it looks pretty good on camera, but up close and in good lighting, it's really bad. Um, because, I mean, it, I admit it was better earlier, like, but it's kind of old, so these straps are kind of messed up. And I used super glue on it because this was before I was using tacky glue, so a lot of pieces crack when you move them. I don't know, like, something like crack if you move them too much, and it's kind of scary, and I feel like it's going to fall apart. So, yeah, that was my first time twilling, too, so there's, like, a little twilling error. Yeah, you can see that I, like, messed that part up, but... So, I just kind of kept turning that bad side away from the table, or the judge. So, um... Yeah, so, for my next show in November, I really need to make another saddle. So, that's part of my plans. Um... And then I also use Hillary in Showmanship, and he she used that halter that's for sale. It's still for sale, actually, but I don't want to make another Showmanship halter, so I use that one right there. Um, and it did not place because the other entries were just, like, freaking perfect. And so, yeah, mine didn't place. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed that show, and I really love performance showing. I uh, definitely learned like a ton about performance showing now um, and I have new plans because I plan on going to another show on November 15th. If you're a Michigan shower, just heads up, there is a show in Novi called Novi Showplace Spectacular. It's actually a real horse, uh, real live horse um, event thing. Yeah, I don't know exactly what they do there, but they host a model horse show there every year too. So, um, I plan on entering that since I have pretty much all the tack down. Now I just need to make a bunch more props and obviously a new western saddle. But, um, so if you're, um, if you want to show again, they have that there. It's all the divisions, like the October show. And, um, they actually have a discount if you show less than eight horses, or eight or less, you only have to pay $20 for entry instead of, like, 35 or 45 but you can look at the details yourself. I'm not going to read them all now because it's going to take forever. But um, hurry up because entry, you have to enter by October 31st and you have to mail your entries. So you have to be really quick. You have to like send it in like right now if you want to. So um, anyways, yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.